to my practice. I've been working on getting my pitching technique dialed in thanks to a video from Dan Grieve. I've read Dan's book and I highly recommend it and I love the pitching section, especially his address system. And I think, if I'm honest, I'd probably jump the gun a little bit. I'd gone straight to dialing in my distances rather than actually getting really confident and able to create a consistent strike, which Dan talks about in the video, that without that, really getting your distances dialed isn't really worth it yet because unless you can be consistent you can't then necessarily trust the distances that you dial in and that was me so i've really gone back to trying to find that consistency in my strike and the thing that's helped me the most is a checklist that i took away from dan's video you can imagine i'm watching it and i'm literally scribbling notes in a notebook but these are three things that i've been following as i've been working on my pitching to get that more consistency in my strike so the first thing is i'm coming in weight left so going back to the pivot line that dan talks about then the game changer is triceps tucked. That for me just helps me relax over the shot rather than sometimes I think when it is a feely yardage and you know you've got the chance to get it close, I can get a little bit tense. I can sort of try a little bit too hard maybe to make the most of the opportunity of being 100 yards or in. And that can just mean that I can get a bit tense over it. So the triceps tucked helps me stay relaxed. And then the third part of the checklist is that when I'm making the strike, I'm really focusing on rotating my chest around my pivot line. And I found that that's really helped me release the club more consistently. The other part that was more of a light bulb moment for me when watching Dan's video is how he talks about the, uh, the difference between a release two for pitching and a release two for green side. Because I think I'd taken the release two for green side and been using it in my pitching or at least trying to. And that just meant that by keeping the loft on, having the face to sky that Dan talks about for the green side release too. I was getting all of the height, but none of the distance when it came to, to pitching. And so even with that, you kind of felt, oh, okay, I like this as a technique, but I'm not actually getting the distance that I want to be getting. And it's also not changing that much when I change my wedges or change my stance. So really allowing a little bit of that face rotation has helped me to feel like I can release the club better for pitching release two than just green side release to. So that's what I'm going to work on in my practice today, just sharing how I'm getting a bit more consistent with strike as that first step and then build on from there, continuing on in my practice when it comes to pitching. Once I feel I've got that consistency, I can start to dial in my distances using the address system that Dan talks about. Because one thing that I definitely need to get working on is I just cannot seem to control the length of my backswing. So that will be step two. First of all, I'm just going to go for consistency of strike and go from there. So let's see how we get on. So we've got 42 yards and I'm gonna go with my 54 degree, just again, focusing on consistency of strike rather than distance control at the moment. I'm just gonna keep running through the checklist and see how I can build that consistency. It's a little bit windy, but again, I'm just gonna focus in on technique rather than worrying too much about going for the target, bang on the target anyway, at the moment. was a little bit chunky so I'm going to try and try and do that better. Weight left, triceps tucked, rotate. That's nicer. In the right distance that one. So 54 degree in the wind. Weight left, triceps tucked, rotate. A little bit high but again we're on the dance floor. And even with that one, I felt like that was a little bit of a miss hit there. But I would take the result of that over what previously would have happened to me, probably would have been thinning it through the back of the green. And I think we're still pinned high, but it just didn't feel like the best strike. But actually the outcome, I think because I've been getting more consistent in the striking, the miss hits are also narrowing in. They're not as destructive as they might have been before with my previous technique. Weight left, triceps tucked, rotate. So that is my pitching checklist, thanks to Dan Grieve, that I'm looking to get grooved in, really focusing on weight left, setting that pivot line, triceps tucked, and then rotating around my pivot line. I've just found that since practicing with it, it's helped me get those shots to be a little bit more consistent, and even the miss hits 
aren't anywhere near as bad as they maybe would have been before going absolutely running through the back of the green. So now my focus is really dialing in that consistency even more so, so I can then start to build out my distances using that foundation of consistency and a consistent strike to get those distances and take them to the course. So let me know, what's your approach when it comes to pitching, especially from that sort of 100 yards and in range? Do you have a system that you follow that you absolutely love? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you there.